Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of um, having a lot of options. So you could be having many people interested in you or having to choose between many choices here. And it does look like you will be feeling a little bit confused or overwhelmed, emotionally overwhelmed here. At the same time, there's a cautious energy because this card, it does show that you have options, but not all of the options are good options. So it's important to have discernment. And this is why you could be feeling a little bit unsure about who to choose or which which direction to go here okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the eight of swords air energy the knight of wands fire energy and we have the nine of swords air energy okay so it looks like you may end up feeling very overwhelmed the nine of swords and the eight of swords are both cards showing you kind of overthinking a situation you're you're, you're feeling a bit stressed out about something here um, or this could be someone who's feeling this way about you. Um, we do have the knight, the knight of wands. This does show someone who's very attracted to you, very passionate about you. And you could have some sort of uh, history with this person. This could be someone who's in and out of your life. Um, this is someone who can come across as non-committal, a bit of a player. Um, this person is... Um, I'm seeing this person ha having some sort of guilt when it comes to you. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, they could be losing sleep over you. They could be thinking a lot about something that happened here and it's keeping them up at night. They're, they're quite stressed out over you, over the situation with you. And it looks like they are... Um, coming towards you with this knight of wands energy they are um there's almost like a chasing energy a pursuing energy with that knight of wands there's a lot of chemistry and attraction here but again this is someone who they're here for a good time but not a long time this is someone who likes to keep their options open they could have worries about you exploring your options as well here um it looks like this person is coming towards you with the intentions of trying to confuse you or keep you stuck um this person there's a fear of you moving on or you know you entertaining other options here there's something about them wanting to uh keep you in this eight of swords energy so they want to make you feel trapped mentally in some way here because i'm seeing someone who plays plays games with this person they can be someone who is a love bomber or someone who um, purposefully tries to confuse you so they can be manipulative as well so let's clarify these cards um sagittarius Okay, so we have the two of swords and this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy so it does look like you won't fall for this player this knight of wands person it looks like you're very guarded towards this person you are coming across as very suspicious and closed off um it looks like this is someone who has betrayed your trust before <clears throat> and they know that with the nine of swords this is they this is something that um haunts them and it looks like you you may have even blocked this person or you are just closing yourself off to them you're not um it's like you've created some sort of a stalemate with this person you're not moving forward with them you're you're you're, you're closing yourself off to them so let's see okay we have the queen of pentacles earth energy the world fixed sign energy and the queen of swords air energy okay so yeah it looks like you're you're cutting this person out um the queen of swords is it, it's that 
this is someone who you know quite well you've learned their game and there's this energy of you having learned a hard lesson from dealing with this person it's like you became the queen of swords because of this person and the queen of swords is someone who's wiser someone who is street smart someone who's very like she doesn't let her emotions um come first or override her judgment so it looks like you're you're embodying this energy when dealing with this person you may not even let this person get close to you with this queen of swords and the two of swords it's like you're you're not having it um you could have even um confronted this person you could have told them off in some way because the queen of swords can be quite harsh with her words but she's brutally honest so you could have given this person the truth here and um it actually caused them to kind of feel bad. You know, it's like this person is anxious. This person is overthinking. They're stressed out and they, they feel like they, they need to do something to change the situation. But it looks like with the Queen of Swords, you're still, you're not letting this person back in easily or even at all because the queen of swords is like you've turned your back on this person you you're, you're practicing discernment yeah there's a very um it's like you, you're emotionally detached from this person um you know if you had feelings for them it looks like you've put those feelings aside or you've lost those feelings for this person because they've disappointed you so many times here with the queen of pentacles it looks like you are in a more practical energy you're more um stable emotionally mentally um there's this feeling of you focusing on your finances your career your work things that matter to you things that are important your responsibilities you're, you're doing things that are responsible and this may even include choosing partners who are also responsible partners who are actually a match and a knight of wands isn't that so this person is drawn towards you because they do see you as a very abundant person with the Queen of Pentacles, they could see you as very stable. They see you as prosperous and um, you, something about your intuition. You're, you're, you're coming across as the ideal person. Like you are a good catch. You are marriage material to this person. But there's something about this person where they see these great qualities in you, but they themselves, they're not ready for someone like you. So they can like you, but they can be, they're not ready for you. So with the world card here, it looks like you're closing out a cycle with this person. You're, you may very well cut this person out. You may end things here. The world card does show a completion of a karmic contract. Um, this person could have been a karmic lesson for you. And it looks like you've learned that lesson and it's, it's over here. It's done. You know, there's this feeling of a successful completion of the cycle. Okay. So I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you. Um, Sagittarius. We have look at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius okay so this is you stepping up be, being in your element and also taking out the lesson from a situation it's like you're not jaded this person could have let you down they disappointed you they hurt you but with this looking at the bigger picture energy it's like you are taking some sort of lesson from the situation you're coming out on top you know it's like even if this person tried to bring you down there's this feeling of not letting them bring you down and if they did you're not staying down there's this feeling of you rising above and um you know moving forward in your life still having that uh positive sagittarius like energy um moving on to your next goal here okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you Okay, we have keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations okay so it does look like a certain chapter in your love life a chapter of attracting a certain type of person you could have even thought this was your type this is the kind of person you normally go for you are outgrowing that type it looks like you're 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 about to start a new um a new 
cycle in love if you are ready for it because there's a need for you to be open to that in order to begin that um it looks like this person may be um representing something that you used to go for something of the past something that's outdated now for you it's not working anymore it's not serving you there's the lesson has been learned this person was a lesson this is like you're surviving the traps and tricks of life you know this person was a trap a trick this person was a lesson and it looks like you finally learned that lesson and um there is this this feeling of you needing to make the right decision to not repeat something because this person may come towards you being very persuasive pursuing very hot and heavy very forceful almost they want what they want but um there's something about needing to be careful because you'll if you give this person another chance you would just be repeating a disappointing cycle so there's definitely a need to keep an open mind your soulmate is out there and it, it's it may be someone different okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you sagittarius Okay, so we have playfulness. Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. So again, there's this message about being open to other opportunities, um, not losing your belief in love, um, you know, really being open to something else. Uh, I'm seeing there's someone who's leaving your life with this Knight of Wands and this world card here. Someone who was uh, toxic, someone who was immature, they, they kind of kept you down. It, it was like beating a dead horse, you know, it looks like um, the universe is trying to push you in a new direction. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, we have surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Yeah, there's this feeling of entering a new phase, a new chapter in love, new possibilities, new options, new people, new love, and you will be successful. You're prepared. There's something about this situation that was preparing you for what you asked for, what you asked the universe for. So there's definitely something better for you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.